In this video, I'm going to introduce Google Scholar as one of the information sources you can use for research. By the end of the video, you should understand how Google Scholar works, know some of its most valuable features, and know how to customize Google Scholar for use with the UBC library. Google Scholar is Google's search engine for scholarly literature. Even though Google is in the name, it's not the same as Google. What you'll find here is scholarly work that you can use in your research, in the same way you would use research that you find in Summon or subject databases from UBC. There are many features that make Google Scholar a great information source to incorporate into your research process. Like Summon, Google Scholar is a great source for research from any discipline and in a variety of content types, including journal articles, theses, books, and abstracts. Google Scholar offers an even broader search than UBC Library, as it pulls results from the entire web, which can be useful at the beginning stages of research when you want to see what kind of information exists on your topic, or when you're working on a multidisciplinary topic. Google Scholar aims to sort and order results to show you the most relevant results first. It takes into account the publishing location and date, as well as the number of times and how recently the work was cited in order to determine relevance. Google Scholar allows you to follow who cited an article with a cited by link under each search result. Knowing how often other researchers have cited an article can help you determine the work's impact. And for each work, Google Scholar suggests related articles, which can help you easily find more sources for your research. Although the database is free to access, that doesn't actually mean that all of the articles are free for every user. Fortunately, Google Scholar has made it possible to customize your settings to a specific library, which means that when you search in Google Scholar, you can read any of the works that UBC has access to, as well as the articles from Google Scholar that are available for all users. To customize your library settings, follow these steps. Start on the Google Scholar homepage. If you have a Google account, sign in, and all of the changes you're about to make to your settings will be saved. If you don't have a Google account, you can still adjust the settings, but you'll have to do so each time you search with Google Scholar. Once you're logged in, open the menu by clicking the symbol in the top left-hand corner of the page. From here, choose Settings, and then Library Links. Now we'll search for and add both University of British Columbia UBC eLink and University of British Columbia Library UBC eLink. Once these have both been added, make sure you save the settings. If you haven't already done so, pause the video and take a moment to customize your Google Scholar library settings before moving on. Now that the library links are customized, when you search in Google Scholar, you'll see UBC eLink next to any items that we have access to. Note that this link only appears for items that we can access electronically. You'll also see that Google Scholar can help with citation management. You can see the citation for an item by clicking the quotation mark symbol next to the cited by link, or import the item into RefWorks if that's your preferred citation manager. Finally, you can save items to a personal collection with the star icon. All of the items you star will be added to your library, which you can access under My Library in the top right-hand corner of the page. Items in your library can be organized into categories with the use of labels. At this point, you should be ready to use Google Scholar with its many features and customized UBC library settings as one source in your research process. If you still have questions about Google Scholar, please reach out to the education librarians.